one of our uh, one of our members, uh, Kevin Shields, uh, twenty sixty five. He uh, talked about the the Drangheta Mafia. Yeah, Andrangata. Andrangata. Yeah. Right, say it again. Andrangata. Andrangata. Yeah. Okay. Very hard word. It's got a it's tough. It's got an apostrophe it's in the beginning of it, <laughs> and so forth. Now, this is a mafia crew that goes back a long time, over a hundred years, I think, mm -hmm. right? And uh, it's not in Sicily, is Calabria. it? Calabria. There we go. Yeah. But these guys are actually big on drugs, drug distribution. Well, you know, the uh, in Italy, they're more they were more into heroin, you know, in, in all of Europe all of Europe, uh, than here in the United States. Okay. So. Because wasn't drugs frowned upon in the mafia at a certain point? You know, I get beat up on this all the time. And I tell them, and people, you know, there's from people online. I mean, they don't know anything. But yeah. when I took my oath, when I was first proposed, I was told straight out, you deal with drugs, you die. Hmm. The night I took my oath, the same thing. We're not drug dealers. We're not allowed to deal with drugs. Were guys doing it on a sneak, a little bit here, a little bit there? Yeah, I mean, street guys. They're going to make money whatever way they can. Okay, but you weren't allowed to do it. Gotti, why was he in trouble with Castellano? Because his crew was dealing drugs, allegedly. You know, this is where the whole thing came out. What was the reason why the mafia was anti-drugs? They said it would bring too much heat, and we don't want to hurt kids. We don't want to hurt kids. We don't want people in our communities that were on drugs. We hated it, you know. We don't want to hurt kids, and it's too heat, too much heat from the feds. Right, but there was so much money in it. I know, but hey, we were making money, <laughs> you know. Right. You they didn't want creative it. The bosses with it, did not want it. Period. Okay. These days, as a mafia, if you look at the modern day mafia, and I don't. I'm not going to ask what your connections are or whatever, but if you look at what you know about the mafia in 2023, are they still anti-drug or are they big into drugs? I have not heard anything from anybody about the guys currently big in the drug business. I haven't heard it. And I hear things. Excuse me. I haven't heard anything about, you know, hey, they've all of a sudden turned to, to, to drugs for their income. I haven't heard that. Interesting. Okay. You know, uh, again, guys doing a little bit. Look, my good friend, you know, Tony, Tony Ogello, Tony Dago, blew his brains out in a, in a phone booth because he got caught in a drug deal. And he said, Michael, they're going to walk me in a room. I'm not going to walk out again. I'm on a plane going to Florida. And I said, Tony, don't worry. I'll straighten it out when I get back. Okay. I get to Florida. I get a phone call. He went in the phone booth, blew his brains out. Right after talking Florida. to you. Yeah. Wow. You called his wife. Friend of yours? Huh? Close friend of yours? Again, you know, I knew him since I was a kid. He was with my dad, and then he, then he was with me when sure. my dad went to prison. He was so afraid because we weren't supposed to deal with drugs. So basically, the fact that he got caught in a drug deal, the mafia was going to kill him. He was afraid it was going to I said to him, listen, you've been a veteran with us for over 25 years. You're a good guy. Don't worry about it. I'll straighten it out. But he, he said, no, they're going to kill me. Okay, but realistically, would you have been able to train it out? Maybe. <laughs> no, maybe, <laughs> maybe, yeah. I mean, I didn't know, you know, I just found out about it. I didn't know what the extent Who, who was the boss He was dealing time? with an undercover agent. So who was the boss of the Persico. time? Persico. Persico. Yeah. Knowing Persico the way you do, would he have killed him? Maybe, maybe not. 50-50? I think he had a better chance of surviving. I, again, I didn't know the extent 64. of the case. Yeah. Because he was a good guy for so long.